Tombs were status symbols in medieval India. Houses could be demolished, but a tomb, given its sacred nature, was a permanent structure. So rulers and noblemen strove to leave a lasting legacy by building grand tombs for themselves or their dear ones. Watch till the end to see how they used to make the beautiful decorations in the Taj Mahal. South Gate of a Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is the jewel of Muslim art in India and one of the universally admired masterpieces of the world's heritage and a symbol of India's rich history. The emperor gave his wife the name Mumtaz Mahal, meaning chosen one of the palace. The couple had a loving marriage with intimacy and deep affection for each other. The birth of the 14th kid led to the death of Mumtaz Mahal. Full of grief, he decided to create an exquisite mausoleum that none could rival. Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan created an ivory-white marble mausoleum for his favorite wife Mumtaz Mahal often called a love poem in stone. It also houses the tomb of Shah Jahan himself. The actual tombs of Mumtaz Mahal and Shah Jahan in the lower level of Taj Mahal. After the completion of the Taj Mahal, Shah Jahan was still stricken with inconsolable grief. Aurangzeb, the third of Muntaz Mahal and Shah Jahan's four sons, took advantage of the situation to kill off his three brothers and successfully usurped his father. Shah Jahan spent the remaining days looking out of a window in the Red Fort in Agra, watching his beloved wife's mausoleum. As the story goes, Shah Jahan intended to build a second grand mausoleum across the Yamuna River from the Taj Mahal, where his own remains would be buried when he died. The two structures were to have been connected by a bridge. As the best example of Mughal architecture, the Taj Mahal is a fusion of Hindu and Islamic architecture, interpreting many of the Hindu traditions in an Islamic form. Sadly, the hands of the architects and craftsmen 
numbering 20,000, were all cut off by the minions of Shah Jahan, so that they could never create a building like this again, according to a story. Apart from its stunning design balance and perfect symmetry, the Tas is also noted for its elegant domes, intricately carved screens and some of the best inlay work ever seen. On the large dome is a crescent moon, symbol of Islam, underneath a jock, symbol of a woman, and underneath the inverted lotus flower symbol of sorrow. Koran reciters would sit day and night in the mausoleum and offer funeral services of prayers for the soul eternal of Mumtaz Mahal. After our visit to the Taj, we visited a stone crafting company to see how they used to make the beautiful decorations on the Taj Mahal. This is in fact the same model, same technique, even same tools which has been given in the top. And here we have 325 families. Their forefathers used to work with the Taj. So this art has been handed down from one generation to another. Likewise from father to son, son to grandson and so on. Now second thing is here, the marble we work on, white marble, Taj Mahal marble here, we get it from Rajasthan. Now these are the same jewels, same semi-precious stones which have been given in the Taj 354 years back. Number one here, blue is lapis lazuli from Afghanistan. Number two, green is malachite from South Africa. Turquoise from Himalayas and shiny one abalone. Abalone is the name of a fish from California, Australia, even New Zealand. This is tiger eye from Sri Lanka. Red one is known as coral from Red Seas and Egypt, which is totally translucent here. The name of the stone is cornelia. There is only one stone which glows because when you put the torch on top of it, you will see that something is burning like a ball of fire. So in local language, it's known as fire stone. And this stone, it comes from Mumbai. They get this white piece of marble. Then they apply this orange color, henna color. It's a temporary color. Like our mother or sister, they are putting it on their beautiful hands. So why they are applying this color? So that these outlines could be seen here. They cannot do it on the white. It will simply reflect their eyesight. So this color later on goes off with simple cold water. And again, marble becomes white. Then on the other side, they shape these stones with the help of the assembly wheel, by which they shape them one by one and piece by piece. You can see a lotus flower, the same flower which has been given in the Taj 354 years back. You can see the small details here. You can see a small leaf, it has got four different stones. If you feel it with your fingertip. He makes a hole and then he puts it in. Yes. This is how deep they have to go. Right. They go deep into it, about two to three millimeters. They use the special kind of a glue. The same kind of a glue which was been given in the Taj 354 years back. And a piece like this, it takes them almost four months. Next week we'll give you the marionette player, who showed us Hollywood in a Bollywood style. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and watch the next video. Dream, explore and, and travel, travel with, with us! us.